In the last episode, we left off with Margaret posting the open position on several sites and forms of advertisements. It did not take very long for Margaret to get results. The next day, after she posted the position through various mediums, she had received three emails from interested candidates. She immediately called all three candidates and asked them to come in later for an interview, to which they all agreed and were prompt to arrive. Margaret conducts interviews with each of them, a crucial part of the hiring process. Let's take a look at how those went. Aha! I knew this would work! Now I just have to get them in here. Hi, I'm Sophia. I used to work at Forever 21 as a retail service lead. I love people making new friends, so that's what I think it will be awesome to work for an HR department. What does HR stand for again? Alright, so the first question is, what are two things you did not like about your last job? All the confusing terminology they use for things. Oh my gosh, I was so confused all the time. I mean, English please. I also didn't like the color of their floors. It should have been pink. Okay. So how would you handle an employee complaint about wanting a bigger office? Um, I would tell them that big things come to people who work hard for them. And I would encourage them to keep doing what they're doing because it's not going unnoticed. Very encouraging, Sophia. How about, where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm, I never thought about my future. Well, I hope I have a job where I get to work with a lot of people. I just love people. Maybe I'll be at a Starbucks. Starbucks is just my favorite food. And finally, what are some of your best skills? Talking. I love talking to people and making them feel better. And probably drinking Starbucks. I love drinking anywhere from 10 to 20 cups of Starbucks on a daily basis. Hmm, interesting. Well, thank you so much, Sophia. Can you please go wait in the waiting room and tell Nick to come in? Hi, I'm Nick. I used to work at Sweet Bay as a customer service manager. I was an awesome manager, so I'm not sure why they closed down. Everyone loved me there. They were always complimenting my muscles. Ugh! <laughs> hmm, yes, very nice. Well, first question is, what are two things you did not like about your last job? Well, I don't like the fact that they closed down, that's for sure. And another thing I didn't like is how they didn't give me enough bonuses. I was the best employee they had. That place would have been nothing without me. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> okay, well moving on, how would you handle an employee complaint regarding their wanting of a bigger office? Well, I'd look them in the eyes and tell them big offices are for big people like me. Ugh. The little guy gets the little office, so tough luck, dude. Well, I am sure they would be delighted to hear you say that. How about, where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself as the manager of a gym, of course. Hmm, I see. And finally, what are some of your best skills? Well, I can lift 400 pounds, run a mile under five minutes, so that's pretty great. Well, do you have any professional or intellectual skills? Oh, that? Well, I'm really good with computers. Does that count? Okay, Nick. Well, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and on your way out, can you please get Dylan to come in? Thank you. Hi, my name is Dylan. It's nice to meet you. I'm a former teacher's assistant and recent graduate. My favorite things are hanging out with my partner Stuart and Stella, my French bulldog. Okay, so first question is, what are two things you did not like about your last job? I just came to realize that working with kids is not my thing. I'm too easygoing and they tend to take advantage of me. I also did not like all the things we had to volunteer for, like festivals and stuff. Ugh, so many kids. Moving on. How would you handle an employee complaint regarding their want of a bigger office? I would tell them that good things come to the people who wait, so just stay humble and work hard. Hmm. And how about, where do you see yourself in five years? I would really love to own a little coffee shop with my partner Stuart and our bulldog Stella. But you know, for now, surge marketing is alright, I guess. Interesting. And finally, what are some of your best skills? I would say that my best skills are that I'm very patient and understanding. Most of the time. 
like 65% of the time. Yeah. All right, Dylan. Well, thank you for your time, but that's all the questions that I have. If you don't mind going outside and waiting with the others, that would be lovely.